Alrighty, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Mike Tolzma, Partner Success Development Executive with Ingram Micro. Um, really appreciate you being here, talking today all about building your Microsoft practice through Ingram Micro and with our, with our cloud teams. Um, really excited to be here. Special thanks to Microsoft, of course, for giving us this opportunity. Um, you know, thanks to our team at Ingram, John Doucette, Vice President of Technology Solutions, Peter Graber, our, our Executive Director of Microsoft, for giving us this opportunity to be here. Um, but this, this time, this 45 minutes, it's about, it's about all of you, right, and having a conversation today around, you know, the benefits of working with Ingram Micro and, and, and what we can do to really help accelerate your cloud practice across modern work, across Azure, across Dynamics, and now, of course, that fourth bucket that Microsoft's talking a lot about, security, right? So between those four, uh, those four pillars, um, you know, we're your people. We want to work with you. We want to have these conversations. We want to help you drive business. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. I'll turn it over to Scott to introduce himself, um, but really looking forward to it. Hi, everybody. So Scott Orange, I'm a development executive supporting our Microsoft Dynamics and Power Platform practice. Uh, in terms of uh, just sort of my little superpower here for an icebreaker, I'd like to consider my superpower turning anything into a game, it's something I didn't really learn about myself until I was a father and trying to get a toddler to you know, eat his dinner. But it actually applies a lot to kind of the work that we have to uh, deliver on here at Ingram Micro because a lot of times these challenges can come up and we really just need a way to monetize it, but gamify it a little bit and have fun while we're working through some of the complexity and opportunity that's out here. Mike, do you just want to say a bit more about yourself? Yeah, I mean, my superpower is pretty easy. I'm the tall guy, right? So if, um, if we're in a crowd, I usually will be able to help kind of navigate through. Um, but no, my time at Ingram, so about three and a half years at Ingram, all dedicated on the, you know, in our cloud space. Um, up until about six months ago, I was Microsoft Modern Work. Uh, that was my kind of sole focus in, inside of our organization um, as an account executive working with partners uh, really all across the country. Over the course of the last six months, I've taken on this role, Partner Success Development Executive. So what does that mean? That is working with our, um, you know, an assigned partner base, if you will, and really, really heavy focus on uh, customer retention renewals, upsell, cross-sell, and a lot of that is, you know, it's, it's very, very, very Microsoft heavy. So I've been able to kind of take that expertise that I gained in the, in the last couple of years on the modern work side, bring it over into this role, and, and kind of continue that, uh, that story. So for those of you who don't know kind of, you know, what Ingram Micro is, the, 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 the phrase right now is kind of the business behind the brand, right? So as a um, distribution partner, working with vendors across all different areas, you name it, Ingram probably has you know, hooks in it, if you will. Um, and, and we are from kind of nuts to bolts, a, a piece of the partnership for you. Um, that's obviously, of course, selling, helping you sell the solutions. That's transacting through our platform. That can be services that we'll touch on a little bit today as well. There are so many different avenues that, that we can help you with that sometimes you know, partners just simply don't know like the reach that Ingram has. Um, largest distributor in the world, global footprint. Um, and when it comes to Microsoft, there is a heavy, heavy, heavy investment because we all recognize the importance that Microsoft carries in the space. So this slide here kind of just shows quickly you know, what, this, what this looks like at scale, right? So you know, I'm not gonna read off all the, <laughs> all the different numbers here, but you know, there is some very, very you know, eye-opening numbers when it comes to, you know, the vendor partners that we have, the amount of customers that we have. You know, our net sales, this number's a bit old, but like we're, 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 we're up there, right, in terms of being, being one of the largest players in the space. Um, but really it comes down to is, you know, Microsoft is kind of this piece of the puzzle, but there is so much potential within Microsoft. We're gonna kind of talk briefly a little bit about, you know, what that business strategy and what that looks like. Um, all of these levers that we have from our size, our scope, that ties directly into our relationship with Microsoft as well. Um, you know, premier partner with Microsoft, a lot of investment in us and vice versa. So really when we talk about kind of who we are and the principles that we carry from a, um, you know, 
from a business relationship standpoint, it is partner first always. And what I mean by that is every single person in this room in the reselling space may all have different objectives, right? It, it, there's not a widespread cookie cutter approach to take. Um, every conversation that I have may look a little different, but the end goal is still the same. We wanna help you grow your business. We wanna make sure that you're hitting the goals and the objectives that you have as an organization. Um, making sure that you as the partner understands all the different things that Microsoft can do to help you grow. It's not just you know, selling licenses and being done with it. There's so, much, there's so much out there from building out practices, whether it's security, whether it's AI now with Copilot, whether it's telephony, so on and so forth. And then how can you also tie that into service plays as well? That's a big piece of the puzzle as well, is being able to monetize the services around that. Ingram is a piece to every single one of those conversations. We can help you with that. The biggest piece of this too is, you know, I, I, I talked briefly about our size. And it's really important because we have, you know, thousands and thousands, 20 plus thousand associates around the world. The, being able to leverage that and use that with our relationship with Microsoft is crucial. There's a lot, there's a lot of, um, you know, buy-in from the Ingram side, but also from Microsoft to make this partnership that we have the strongest in the world. That's from a support standpoint, that's from a people standpoint, from a seller standpoint. Um, and it's been really impressive to see in my time at Ingram in the, in the three plus years that I mentioned to kind of see this relationship at, you know, being here, for example, this conference is just incredible. And, you know, we're fortunate enough to have a space here to have these conversations. So I'm gonna talk a lot about our people. Um, it's something that I'm very passionate about. The way that we are designed at Ingram is um, you know, we're, we're broken out into the different areas of the cloud, right? So you have your Microsoft Modern Work, you have your Azure, you have your Dynamics. Security ties into the Modern Work portion right now, but we have pre-sales, sales executives such as Scott, but you also have partner success executives such as me. We all play, you know, we're all kind of spokes in the wheel in terms of this business. But for me, the biggest thing is I want to understand your business. Right, the deals will come, but I need to understand your business. And, and, I, and I speak for all my colleagues on the, on the Microsoft side that are having these conversations every day. It starts with understanding kind of what your goals and objectives are with Microsoft. Is it, is it buying in and building out a strong security practice? Is it you know, finding that, I always talk about Dynamics a lot, is a very specialized practice, right? Is it really wanting to be a premier partner in that space? You know, is it kind of buying in across all the clouds and being a full-fledged Microsoft partner across all the clouds? We have teams dedicated to each and every one of those pillars or specialties, whatever you wanna call them. And there's so much value there because all these people are kind of laser focused on that area, whether it's modern work that's getting certified, that's going through trainings, that's being a true expert in that space. Um, why it's important to me, <laughs> I'll tell a quick story about this. So, you know, many years ago, I was, um, I played college baseball, and then I had the smallest cup of coffee in professional baseball. But I had a manager tell me as I was, like, just getting absolutely crushed on the mound, like, it was a bad day, and I knew that my career was probably over. He goes, kid, you're only as good as your last out. And today, you just weren't very good. <laughs> so, you know, for me, that was a message that I took with me and I've, I've brought it with me in my career, right? It's, you know, it's, it's definitely a business about, I am only as good as my last out with my partners. Every single time I have a conversation with you, I wanna know that we have moved forward in some capacity. It's not always gonna be the same conversation. It may not always be this, like, we're not all gonna do it the same way. My conversation with Scott could look a heck of a lot different than my conversation with one of you. But at the end of the day, I wanna know we've helped move your business forward building out a practice, whatever that may look like. That's the beauty of Ingram. That's the beauty of our people. Because we, you know, we look at it kind of holistically, 10,000 foot view. If you call and you get one of our modern work sales execs on the phone and it's a, about a specific deal that you have for a customer, we are going to get you those answers. We are gonna help you close that opportunity 
but you damn well know that we're also gonna make sure that we have a conversation about what's next, right? What's your business model? How can we help you accelerate that? What does that look like for you? And you may turn to us and say, hey, what does that look like in the channel? What are other partners doing that's successful? Can I replicate some of that stuff? And the answer is of course, and we will tailor it to your organization. So really quickly, you know, as I wrap this slide up, it's also really important to highlight the fact that we have pre-sales technical teams as well. So it's not just, you know, I'm, I'm a sales guy, right? I have like very little technical bones in my body, but I have some of the best resources in the industry that can come in and answer questions from the technical side. Or you could be like Scott, who's both. So <laughs> he's got a technical background plus the sales background, so he's kind of the best of both worlds. But we have these folks that are ready to come in and answer comp complex questions, whether it's for you as the partner or your end customer. Hey, what does this deployment look like? You know, how, does, how do all these solutions play in the sandbox together? I mean, these people are highly skilled and we, we wanna leverage them as, as much as we can because they're a value, not just for me or for Scott or for any of our salespeople, they're a value for you. Um, so this is all kind of you know, that breakdown that I talked about. I'll also highlight the fact, and, and the next slide will highlight this a little bit more. This is probably one of my favorite slides. It, I don't know why I get so, I'm so you know, you do get revved excited. up about this yeah. slide. But you know, we talk about practice building as a whole, and this is kind of what that looks like, right? So when you think about going to market with Microsoft, I kind of come back to what I had just spoke on. It's about understanding your goals and objectives. And then we can kind of take it from there and start figuring out ways to pull those levers a little bit that makes it make sense for your organization. I kind of look at it in, in a four, four to five bucket approach. But first and foremost, it's, 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 it's that consultation, right? It's understanding. What is your mindset of the Microsoft space? Where is it gonna bring the most value for you and your customers? What are your goals from a revenue perspective, from you know, being able to service these solutions once they're in place? But then also, okay, is there areas of opportunities in other, in other avenues of cloud? Is it, okay, we, we know that we wanna be a modern workshop, but maybe we wanna marry that to Azure. So we're capturing the infrastructure with the licensing as well. And then from there, it's really understanding where you're at in your organization from kind of a skilling perspective. What are the conversations that we need to have with you to kind of make sure that you are going out and, and you know, talking to your customers in the sense of, okay, I know that now I want to be a heavy Microsoft security shop. I wanna leverage business premium because it's the best SKU that's out there in the SMB space, but what are the things that I should be really highlighting with my customers? These are things that, these are conversations that we wanna have with you as we kinda of start to understand who you are in the space as a partner. And then it's leveraging all these different programs that Ingram Micro has. You know, we, I would venture to say, are one of the best, if, you know, we are the best when it comes to training our partners, right? Offering all sorts of resources, whether it's Microsoft-led in conjunction with Ingram, or if it's an Ingram-led program, like we have things out there that are second to none in terms of training, especially around security and co-pilot because of how, you know, how large it's gotten, of course, security being as big as it is now over the course of the last couple of years, pandemic onward, and then of course the, the, the co-pilot released last year. There's a lot of questions about it. There's a lot of training that was needed around it for myself, for Scott, for our teams, but also for you. But then we have to have the conversation of how do we go to market with this? You know, how do we maximize on this? So we have, you know, from a program perspective in this enablement column, there's, there's so many different things that we can offer. And again, tailor it to you. I can't tell you how many times in the last couple years I have sat down with a partner, I've had a conversation about their business, I've wanted to understand, okay, what are the, what are the pillars that are really important to you? And I've built out a training path for them. You know, it's not a, here's a webinar, here's a link, it's let's build out a training path, we're gonna get on the phone and we're gonna do bi-weekly sessions, once a month session. We'll focus on, if I, let's, let's use security as an example, we're gonna focus on four major plays in the Microsoft security space around the business premium SKU, and that's your go-to-market for that, that's your differentiator. So that, that's how we kind of, you know, try and operate in that sense, is being able to really dive into your business, make sure that we are hitting your goals and objectives, 
while also tying in you know, things that we see in the channel or the initiatives from Microsoft, right? Like Microsoft has a lot of initiatives around Copilot, around security. Are we maximizing on all of those? Those are all the conversations that we want to have really early in the process to understand your business. Then, we, you know, once we kind of have that go-to-market, you know, conversation, what does that look like? Then we got to execute on it, right? So that's where kind of the proof is in the pudding a little bit. It's great to have these conversations, but then it's also on us. Again, good is our last out to execute on that. So we've put a plan in place. Now let's go help you sell. Whether that's we've given you the tools now to have these conversations with your customers, whether that's you're pulling in your Ingram resources to co-sell with you and have those conversations, we will do that. I've done it a million times. Where I've gotten on the phone with a customer, I've understood their needs, asked some of those questions, and then being able to put together a solution that fits that organization. And I do that in conjunction with the partner that I'm working with. And then really the last bucket for me uh, where I kind of spend a lot of my time now is, is the last one. We've got you in the door. We've had these conversations. We've built the personal relationships. We've built the business relationships. Now we have to make sure that we're continuing to retain, keep what you got, have conversations around cross-sell, upsell. So if you're a huge modern workshop, there's a good chance that I'm going to ask questions about infrastructure down the road or dynamics or security, right? It's understanding kind of always what's next, helping you move forward. Um, you know, the recurring revenue business model is great because, you know, if, if you've built the really strong relationships with your customers, the renewals should keep coming. But we want to make sure that we're capitalizing on everything that Microsoft has to offer. So if you have a lot of customers in the O365 space right now, there's a good chance I'd have a conversation with you about, hey, what are we doing about the M365 space? Are we leveraging security? Are we bought into that? You know, what's the next play? You want to be thinking ahead. That's the life cycle. Right, that's the roadmap. That's what you know, our folks on our sales teams are, you know, these are the conversations that we're having every day. And sometimes it starts just simply because an email came in or a phone call of, hey, I've got this, you know, couple hundred seat deal, I gotta get this figured out, I need I need pricing on it, I need to build a quote. We will do that. But we wanna be having the conversation about what's next. And it starts with learning your business. And I think programs are fantastic. It's great to have reach, it's great to have size, but we really need outcomes, right? So at the end of the day, uh, we are a recognized partner for Microsoft, not just in helping to grow <clears throat> their overall base and improve the outcomes of their clients, but also for our resellers. We've been acknowledged by Microsoft. So I really like to have this in here. It's actually one of our Australian partners, uh, Fuse Technology was incredibly effective with going to market by leveraging uh, Microsoft's, uh, Microsoft 365 CSP briefings. And for those of you that are in the channel and you're plugged into Microsoft's programs, you'll know that these CSP briefings have really evolved into an essential part of how we educate end users and how we really help our partners, our resellers, engage with those customers. So we see the, uh, the Copilot briefings have really taken off for us. It's something we've supported a lot of our resellers with in the US business. But this is all to show that Microsoft recognizes that when they invest in Ingram, we're able to lift the whole channel up and assist with better outcomes for everyone. Mike did a great job, I think, of talking about really like why Ingram is here and really what we do. But I'm gonna focus a little bit now on the how. So, for those of you that are plugged in, you'll know that in May of 2023, we launched our XVantage platform at our Global Cloud and Innovation Summit. And what XVantage does is it pulls everything Mike has talked about. So the, the people, the programs, uh, the assets, the resources into a single pane of glass. So what XVantage is, is it's very much our digital twin. We've made it a concerted effort to be a platform first company. That's not platform only. Of course, there's people behind the scenes that are here to work with you and support your business. But with all of those vendors, with all of that complexity, it's essential that our partners and resellers can get to the right place at the right time and they don't have to wait on endless email threads to get through. What XVantage does is it does a lot more than just simply act as a provisioning engine. It's a single pane of glass for all customer management, retention, 
renewals in the Microsoft space. We can manage all of our upgrades and co-terming or set up calendar billing, all in that single system. Every day we're pulling more of our programming and marketing materials into XVantage, but this truly is our, our approach and our investment to ensure the, the entire channel can be more effective, more efficient, and people can spend less time searching and more time delivering, uh, more time selling, and more time working with their customers. <clears throat> and beyond just being a platform that we build out, it's a platform we let our resellers connect into. So we have uh, native integration with a variety of different vendors out there. Of course, Microsoft Dynamics uh, has to be on the slide, <laughs> as that's someplace that I cover. But this allows you to not only have that transaction engine and management engine for your clients and to grow your business, but you can access that data in your current line of business applications. You can make the quotes and the offers that we have available to your customers in your own portals if you need to. And every day, our integration team is doing more and more to put more tools into the hands of the developers that work at our resellers so that they can continue to build and grow with Ingram Micro and with our XVantage platform. So we have options out there that are low code, no code. And then we also have uh, do-it-yourself integrations with uh, APIs, REST APIs available for any developer to pick up and work with. Um, so please don't uh, discount the fact that we can also plug into your systems if you're looking to take on a partnership with Ingram Micro. And beyond that, we don't just support a single transaction. It's not just about landing licensing into a customer's hands and then walking away. We can support the entire life cycle of a client, of a customer. And this is true for our Microsoft business, but this is also true for our hardware business and some of the other cloud providers that we work with as an organization. So we don't just focus on simple <laughs> deployment, but we, uh, we work to assess and design our systems with our partners. Where our partners have a gap in their particular skill set or on their team, we have resources both internal and then as part of our broader network of partners that we can work with. And so from our standpoint, it truly isn't just about running a transaction, providing a quote, taking care of a purchase order. No, it's about the full interaction that you have with your customers, the full life cycle of your customers, and then the solution and tools that they adopt. Every time something new hits the channel, hits the marketplace, something like Copilot comes up, we are plugged into Microsoft from day one, and our focus is how we can get this into your hands as resellers, how you can support your customers with it. So Microsoft very much relies on us to get the messaging out to you all, but they also very much rely on us to get the feedback up to them. And so it is a two-way conversation. It's not just top-down when you're working with us. We really help extend the, the reach and the capabilities of the resellers and the partners that we work with. A lot of that comes into services. So at the end of the day, we can't always cover everything with just a, a simple e-commerce engine and uh, the platform that we've developed. We do have a variety of different services that we offer, including <clears throat> IT asset uh, distribution, uh, warehousing, marketing, financial services. We have a reverse logistics center where we can take you know, decommissioned sensitive hardware uh, from an IT setting and ensure that it's securely cleaned and disposed of appropriately. So truly the full life cycle of a customer and their technology needs. On the cloud side, we offer a number of services that are particularly targeted at where our partners have identified some gaps in their skill set in areas where we know further investment can help uh, just accelerate that sales cycle and that time to value. So for my Dynamics 365 partners, oftentimes they're very focused on utilization within their own professional services team. There's certainly an encouragement to go after bigger deals, but sometimes there's a reluctance because they're not sure that they can fully deliver. So we can assist with placement in terms of resources on a project basis or on an ongoing basis. And in the Azure side and some of our uh, infrastructure services, we actually have team members that can come in and help do that work for our partners. One thing that's kind of unique, I think, even with our professional services, and this is in particular on the Azure side, is they won't just do the work for a partner, but they'll actually invite a partner to come in and observe 
and watch them uh, work through a migration or configuring a landing pad for Azure resources. So we are always focused on teaching people to fish. We don't wanna just simply provide, especially in the professional services space, we don't just wanna provide an extra resource or an extra avenue to augment. No, we want you to build out your team internally as well. And so we don't try to hold back on the knowledge and the expertise that we have available to us. Our services group then also extends even beyond what Ingram Micro offers with our digital partner to partner uh, program. So what that allows is any of our partners, our resellers that have a particular skill set, they've got capacity and a bench to solve particular problems, they can offer those services up to all of our other resellers that we have at Ingram Micro. So this is done today through our program IM Link. It's something that we anticipate being pulled into XVantage in the ne next few months as things are moving forward. But today that IM Link program is an incredible asset uh, for everyone that we have, both trying to kind of improve their utilization numbers by extending the addressable market that they have or by delivering those outcomes to the clients. What I like to say is if your reach exceeds your grasp of a technology, if your reach to these clients is there, we're here to assist. And so those are times when you should look to your uh, distributor, where you should look to Ingram Micro for additional help and support. I think, Mike, a lot of times people get bogged down with the idea that we are just here for procurement of technology. But what I love about working at Ingram Micro is I only make money if you make money. <laughs> we are here to help our partners sell more, deliver more, and retain more. So it's fantastic. It's, it's not you know, typical to have such well-aligned incentives and motivations between businesses. And I think it's one of the really exciting uh, and kind of energizing parts of Ingram is we get to share in your success, we get to share in the struggle to win new business, to learn new technologies. And then at the end of the day, there is always that ever-present important portion where if things go south, if there is a ticket, if something breaks, where do you go to? And we provide that post-sales support as well. So truly that single pane of glass. And a one-stop shop. And a one-stop shop. Right, that, that's, I mean, that's a big piece of this too of, you know, we want, you know, Microsoft's the focus at this event, and we're, we're talking a lot about Microsoft, but we want to have the conversations around your hardware business. And hey, can we, with Vantage, everything can be done on this single platform, right? And then with the help of your resources at Ingram, your sales executives, your vendor overlays, you know, you have a, you, you really have a cavalry of people that are, that are ready to help you. Um, I love that. I also love the fact that the folks at Ingram, it's a large organization, it's thousands of people, right? But I mean, I'm not kidding you, like some of my best friends are from working at Ingram because we work very, very well together, but we care a lot. We care about what we're trying to accomplish with our partners. I've built an incredible relationships with the, with the partner community. And it hasn't always been, you know, like great conversations. Like sometimes you have to have difficult conversations, but it builds a lot of trust. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big relationship guy. Like that's kind of my, you know, I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a very technical person. I'm definitely more on the sales side, but you know, I like building the, the, the relationships with people. I like understanding, you know, what are the motives of your organization? kind of what makes you tick in that sense. And we have so many like-minded people in that sense that all have their different specializations. You know, Scott just went through all these different, you know, pieces of the puzzle that we have and I'm like, like right over my head. <laughs> you know, like I can't, you know, it's just, it's not my bread and butter, but where I really enjoy this is the fact that I've known Scott for years and I get to watch him work, and hopefully he can say the th same thing about me, and you've, we've built a lot of really strong relationships internally that then we turn around, and if I go to Scott and say, hey, I've got a partner that's really interested in kind of building out their dynamics practice, I know I can call him, and he is gonna do an incredible job of building that relationship with you. Um, that's just, it's just really cool to me, right? I, I think one of the things that uh, a lot of us uh, tend to tell our partners, especially as they're just starting to learn what Ingram Micro is and how we operate, is that you really can consider us an extension of your workforce. Uh, the difference is you don't have to worry about a you know, W-2 or anything like that for us, but we truly are here to help augment, in particular, the sales and go-to-market resources that you have within your organization. I think 
Some of the best partners, some of the best resellers are oftentimes so busy on delivering in their area of excellence that they don't have time to keep up with all of the changes that are going on in the channel. They're not sure what's going on with some of these licensing shifts or priorities around Microsoft and their funding. And that's what we're here for. And Mike's talked a lot today about sort of the conversations that we have, but we don't just have them with our partners. We help our partners cultivate those discussions with each other. And so that's where our TrustX Alliance comes into play. Ingram Micro does have an exclusive membership program for our resellers. It, it is invite or referral only. But what it does is it really provides that secure, trusted location for partners to share best practices, share their pain points, and work together. Because at the end of the day, yes, we have competitors out there. Ingram has our competitors. Every single one of you has yours. But we lose more often to no decision or a loss of momentum. There's such a green field out there that we can all learn together and grow together. But it's important that folks have the right forum for those discussions and, and the right platform to make sure that they can move forward in a meaningful fashion. And you don't have to necessarily listen to us when it comes to the services that Ingram Micro offers. Uh, we've had great feedback from our partners about the various programs that are here. And I think one of the ones that oftentimes gets sort of lost or, or forgotten about is the financial component of it. And so Ingram Micro, you could think of us almost as like a, a bank for your technology in some ways. If there is an opportunity and if there is concerns on your end about being able to, to go after a particular line of business or go after a particular project or contract, Ingram Micro can assist in terms of financing certain opportunities, in terms of acquiring the technology. But we've also financed partners as they go in to acquire other firms. Our ability to really help you deliver, to help you punch outside of your weight class, it's, it's baffling to me sometimes with what we can accomplish just from that side. Some days it feels like we almost operate more as a bank than a typical business, or like a meta industry, if you will. And then, of course, XVantage as a platform has become essential for us, and it's something that we work with as internal associates. Our partners, of course, are transacting on there. But even those 1,500 plus vendors that we have have access to that same platform so that when they make changes and when they make modifications or they want to get new marketing materials into their hand, your hands, there's no delay. They don't have to set up a meeting, send an email. No, they can go right there and have full access to the platform itself. And part of our success actually comes not just from being a Microsoft reseller and a Microsoft distributor, but a Microsoft consumer. And so a lot of the work that we've done behind the scenes to really improve our operational efficiencies so that you can improve on yours and you can protect your margins, a lot of that has been done specifically with our investments into the Microsoft ecosystem. So we use services like Power Automate and AI Builder and Microsoft Dynamics 365 Sales. Those are essential tools for us internally to run on. And we've been recognized by Microsoft, again, not just helping them sell, but really building our business around their technology and the success that's offered there. So I think in uh, just a second here, we're going to just do a quick recap on a recent event that we had. But I want to put it out to everybody that's here. If you have questions or if you have uh, kind of any follow along um, comments that you'd like, please feel free to you know, stand up. We'll take some questions in just a couple moments here. Um, and if you've got something that's kind of brewing in your head, you know, work that out for us. We'd be happy to address it while we're here, happy to address it afterwards. But Mike, why don't you say a little bit about what you just got done with, because he's been on kind of the, the conference circuit lately. Yeah, I'm, on the, uh, I'm on the tour right now. Um, so this past, it wasn't last week, the week before that, we were at Ingram Micro One. Uh, it was our global event in DC. And you know, we talk a lot about peer groups and communities that Scott just spoke on and, and bringing the partners of the channel together you know, to have conversations around, you name it, from a business perspective. But this is a uniqueness of Ingram, is the fact that we had this event in DC. We had a lot of really, really great representation from Microsoft there. I personally, over the course of four days, sat in almost 40 meetings with partners with Microsoft representation, representation talking about their business, right? It wasn't, you know, 
hey, this here's a specific problem. Of course, if that came up, we answered it and we helped with it. But it was a, a incredible investment from the Microsoft leaders and from, of course, our leadership to have these business conversations. I keep going back to it, right, over and over again. That's where we will, you know, that's where we thrive. It's, it's, it's walking into a room with a, with a partner, sitting down at a table, and just understanding what your business objectives are and how we can help you kind of fill those gaps. And to see that in action, you know, over the course of a week was incredible. It was my, it was my third or second Ingram One event, and I just walked away. Every year I walk away more blown away by how well done it is. And on top of that, the partner community coming together and, and, and learning from one another, right? I have countless partners that I, that I work with on a daily basis. I was able to make connections, right? Like, you know, I manage both of these accounts, but that's okay, you know? Like, we can have conversations around, you know, hey, what are the challenges that you're seeing? Have you done this before? Um, I had a partner that was really, you know, kind of struggling with some Azure billing and figuring out the best way to do that. And I had another partner that went through something very similar two years prior, so I connected them and they had a conversation around it. You know, this, this platform, Ingram One, gave us that opportunity to really come together and have some of these, you know, really great conversations. But also it was a time, you know, for Microsoft to kind of have, the, you know, kind of understand the challenges that, 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 that the partner community is facing too. We had roundtables with Microsoft leadership across all the clouds you know, across Modern Work, Dynamics, I guess business, it was all biz apps, but Modern Work, Security had a round table, and it was an opportunity for the partners to really kind of, again, understand what's happening in the channel, what are people seeing, but also give feedback to Microsoft, but also in turn get some um, ideas and opportunities from, from the leadership at Microsoft. So, you know, we talked the TrustX community as well, there's some changes coming to that between TrustX and SMBA coming together that, you know, from an opportunity standpoint, from a growth standpoint, from a peer setting standpoint is second to none. Um, and those are conversations that, of course, we can, we're, we're happy to have. But I wanted to highlight, you know, some of these events and what we do, you know, kind of really bring that community together a little bit, you know, inside the channel. Because it's, it's pretty powerful. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm being honest with you, it was pretty cool to see some of like my partners who I've worked with for years. Now all of a sudden we're all going to grab a drink together and talk about the business. It was it was impressive. What I really like about Ingram Micro One is it it really makes it very explicit something that I think typically is very implicit with Ingram Micro, and and that's the fact that we are constantly talking to your competitors and uh, we are constantly picking up best practices, what works, and from just a strength and a growth perspective, we are eager to share those best practices. We want our partners to know what we see as being successful, where we see growth opportunities, where we see cross-sell opportunities with other vendors. When I look at the convention floor, the hub, I see a ton of brands that I'm very familiar with because they can all be transacted directly on our XVantage platform. And I think for us internally, we start to know and understand uh, through the years at Ingram Micro that we are picking up a ton of industry knowledge that's very specific about a particular line of business or a particular uh, approach to adding value to customers. And we end up with a ridiculous uh, Rolodex of what works and what doesn't in, in our minds. And we are just eager to share that whenever we can with partners. Usually that's happening in these one-on-one -on -one conversations, whether it's a, a QBR, or just a sales conversation with one of our resellers, but Ingram Micro One puts it all together. It puts it, you know, face to face, flesh and blood, so to speak, and not hidden just behind, you know, uh, Teams meetings or, or phone calls. So I, I think it's a fantastic event that we run. Um, really excited to see what we're doing next year around it. Um, but I think that's a that's about what we wanted to be able to cover off with you all today. So and, and we did it with five minutes left to spare. Yeah. Even. Um, even better. You know, a couple quick like call to actions, I guess, or things that I want to highlight. Um, I think first and foremost, you know, do not punt on an opportunity, right? Whether it's bandwidth, whether it's you know specific knowledge of a solution, whether whatever it is, you know, my ask for for all of you in the audience that have opportunities come up, please do not let it walk. Have a conversation with us first. Um, 
I'd say there's a very, 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 very good chance that we can help you, <laughs> right? So, um, I, I, you know, first and foremost, I think that's, that's incredibly important, and that's always my messaging at the end of these things is do not walk from something because of, you know, you th there, we can help you, whether it's start to finish, you know, and, and, you, got, and you as the partner is, you know, kind of the transaction engine, and we are helping from a services implementation, you know, scaling up the customer on these solutions. Like, we can, we can do that in conjunction with you. Second thing, um, you know, hold, hold us accountable, right? Um, I think for me, and as I kind of had this conversation, or, you know, you're as good as your last out and kind of making that reference, I, I'm, it's, it's very real, real for us. Like, we want to be helping you move your business forward, point blank period. If we're not doing that, you know, then we have to go back to the drawing board. That win formula that I showed that I got all giddy about, like, you know, that's the life cycle. You know, that's, you know, start to finish, nuts to bolts of the Microsoft practice. It's transferable from modern work to Azure to business applications and now security as that kind of fourth pillar that Microsoft's having to focus on. That's what we're, you know, that, that's what we're using as kind of our roadmap with you and then we are gonna tailor it to you. So if there's two things that you get out of this today, you know, obviously we, we want to continue to have these conversations. We wanna help you accelerate your business. Um, you know, we're as good as our last out. Right, so we're, we're gonna keep moving forward. I love it, and please, we've got a full day left to this conference. We're gonna be uh, stationed at our booth. I'll be there for almost all of tomorrow. Uh, we'd love to chat with you if you're a Microsoft reseller or if you're interested in starting in that space, uh, working not just with Microsoft as a technology partner, but an essential business partner and driving that reoccurring revenue business that so many folks are after. So please stop by and say hello. I understand there's session feedback. Please fill out your evaluation. I always love that. And um, does anybody have questions, I suppose, with a uh, couple minutes that we have left? And we'll be sticking around, too, for a few minutes, okay. so you can come find us Looks offline. like we covered it. Yeah. So, yeah. We covered it all. I'm just kidding. So, well, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Really, really appreciate it. Um, thanks for being here with us, and uh, looking forward to having some conversations down the road. Take care. Thanks. Thank <clears throat> you.